fourth video on model based design using simulink for controlling the uh, speed and throttle based on the accelerator pedal input. So as I mentioned earlier, model based design concept has many advantages uh, in automotive industry because uh, you don't need to know any programming language if you want to build any algorithm. Okay, so instead of uh, spending time in debugging your code and so on, okay, you can build your algorithm using a model based design concept. You can quickly launch your product. Okay, so, okay. so this is one of the example where uh, where we are controlling the speed and throttle based on the accelerator pedal sensor. So sensor data is read uh, with the help of uh, analog input and then uh, if there is any offset in the sensor value then that is subtracted, that is nullified and then uh, that is given to the gain block. From the gain block it goes to the PWM. Based on the output of this gain block the speed of the motor is controlled okay which is uh, indirectly proportional to the acceleration similarly we are controlling the throttle as well in this way you can see uh, after the sensor data it is again given to the gain block and then that the uh, output of the gain block is sent to the standard servo right so you can quickly develop this and dump uh, generate an auto code and dump it to the embedded hardware from there so you can see here so once the code is deployed you can connect your sensors and you can you can see the output okay here we have accelerator pedal posi uh, position sensor which is basically we are using a potentiometer which will sense the accelerator pedal position based on the accelerator pedal position our uh, embedded controller will control the throttle as well as the mo uh, spe mo uh, uh, speed of the motor so here as i mentioned earlier we have a in house developed uh, robo kit which has got uh, two dc motors okay as well as a sensor sensor will read, um, sense the wheel speed then it is given to the embedded hardware okay so now our embedded hardware where we have uh, used a model based design concept developed the and uh, auto generated core and dumped it to, dumped it to the target hardware so uh, that uh, firmware is going to control the speed of the motor as well as the throttle based on the acceleration so you can also see the demo here we have a actual four wheeler throttle we have mounted a servo motor so this servo motor is going to get a signal from the arduino board or embedded hardware Okay, now I am going to press the accelerator and you can see as the accelerator is pressed, speed is also going and even the throttle is also moving. So maximum of 90 degrees, the throttle moves. Again, as the accelerator uh, pressed, the speed of the motor is also increasing. So now I release the uh, accelerator, when the speed will come down and even the throttle gets closed. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video.